really? Here we go. <laughs> Buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy one. Howdy, y'all. Riggs here. Welcome back to Riggs Indoors, and welcome back at, to Mudrunner. Now, we're uh, checking out a brand new map. Well, somewhat a brand new map from my good friend Castaway called Mud Rivers. Uh, this is the map right here, and wow, not a single watch point. Uh, so there's a few trails that we can check out. Uh, not sure which one we're going to hit first. Are there two garages, or do we actually start in a garage? I don't know if we start in a garage. We actually may have to drive to a garage. That's, I don't like that. I mean, that garage is locked. Uh, this means it's a good thing I have dev tools because... We are running two different vehicles. Uh, we're going to be checking out Spun's 2014 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, and if it completely sucks, or we get stuck, or we wreck, well, we have Risky's uh, OBS Ford over there. Uh, F250 OBS. There you go. So, anyway, uh, we'll turn on the garage here, because we don't start in the garage, and y'all know how much I love that. So, uh... What the heck is the fire stick? Oh, right at the back. Yeah, we'll put that on. Uh, kit? Yeah, we want that. Uh, overland trailer? No. And the roof kit? Sure, sounds good. Now, turn off the garage. Refill the center again. And, yes, now we can get going. I like that rumble of the vehicle already. Now, we got two different trails. We can either go left or we can go right. And seeing as we don't have to go up to that garage now, we're going to take the one to the left. I don't see a trail over there, y'all. Okay, well, let's go see if we can't find it. Ah, there it is. Kind of hidden right away. Not sure how I feel about that, and it just kind of dead ends in that tree. Now, mud rivers, it's probably going to be a lot of mud, and right now, I, I'm in the mud. Let's uh, gear that down and enjoy going up this hill. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at her climb. Now, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling that this vehicle is going to exceed all expectations. I know Spun has been working on this vehicle for a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but I want to say at least at the bare minimum six months. And he's got four different versions of it. There's a white one, an orange one, black one, and this lovely blue number, which y'all know me, I'm going to take the blue one. You make a blue version. And give me options, I will always take the blue one. Well, almost always. A few exceptions out there. And, okay, so it's not just going to be mud. Now, we've come across a few maps where it's just been single, easy going trailing. And we don't have a lot of obstacles aside from a few holes in the road. Now we have a rock here. Now, I don't know if this is a Spun or a Nick's rock, but all the rocks in this map are from Spun and Nick's. A lot of trees is kind of getting in your way here. It's kind of hard to find that great camera angle. But yeah. Ooh. The nice thing about driving slow is that you can change that angle for ultimate viewing pleasure. Which is Kind of awkward, but so fun to do with the spin tires uh, camera system. Because I think this was made for YouTubers, like, and streaming. It's all about the camera, the viewing camera. Like, this is not meant to be like a racing game uh, just because of that camera. Like, you can do some races, there's some racetracks out there, but yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's not bring up that let's uh take a look at the interior um all right pretty basic interior some might expect in like a hard car off-road truck uh wouldn't mind seeing something a little bit more you know 
but it, it does the trick for me it works I like it well done but what I really love about this vehicle is the rest of it like the whole like everything everything is just perfectly modeled and plenty of grip uh oh right angle here uh oh okay we're gonna have to reverse that a bit okay do this again there you go there you go ah, trees ever are just everywhere you know there's that old song uh, from I think it was like in the came out in the 60s like sign sign everywhere sign yeah you know that one it's like in this map it's like tree tree everywhere tree or you got old nursery rhyme I, you know here a tree there a tree like old McDonald you know everywhere a tree tree yeah I'm pretty simple minded sometimes And I, you know, I'm really enjoying this so far because it's just a good map. but scenic enough that you can enjoy crawling along like this. And I will check out the high gear and uh, automatic. But not right now because I'm actually enjoying it. And besides, we're kind of in an area you don't want to run either one of those. Especially if high gear is a little bit too quick. Just because there's a lot of up and down here. Uh, we'll check it out on this next hill. We'll go up into high gear in this next little stretch here. Right here will do. Yeah, she's quick. Alright, turn off the Tomcat gear. And pardon the ding, somebody just sent me a Facebook message. Try to turn that off in my browser. Yeah, automatic is just a little bit too much as well to really enjoy. I mean, unless you are a guy that likes to, you know, go full throttle and not enjoy anything. No point in fingers of saying names. Time here! Yeah. Sorry, I think I covered the mic. Yeah, I think I did get some snot on that microphone. Might have to eat some paper towel. Clean that up. Alright, I just looked at my phone and I don't have any Facebook message alert. Oh, somebody replied to a comment. Got it. Got it. Uh, that notification bell. I really gotta remember to turn those off before I start recording. You know, it happens sometimes because I'm not used to having it on, so it, it, yeah. And when you got a, like 1800 tabs open on your on your browser, you know, you kind of forget about certain tabs being open. I mean, I don't have 1800 tabs open right now. I've only got like six, but still. Not 600, six. Singular, six. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, I gotta do this one from the front. Oh, wow. That deep, that's plenty deep. Oh, I wonder if I can get a good angle here. This might make a good. Mm, nope. That would have made a good screenshot location. I'm going to try keeping that. We'll see how it turns out. But that would have been ultimate screenshot loca or location. And uh, yeah, would have been great. But to I me, mean, trades in this map, I don't think I've ever said that before on any map. Because I've always asked for more trees. And what does Castaway do? He gives me more trees. And now there's just too many trees. Uh-oh. But no, seriously, this is a really fun map. 
uh, regardless of the amount of trees. You just gotta, you know, look past all the scenic beauty that you keep putting your camera through. Like, here we go again. All right, now we get a little bit of a water crossing here. Let's see, where are we on the map? Now, okay, this is definitely not a big map. It really only took us like 10 minutes to get here. Crawling. Uh, what, what, what do we got going on over here? Is there another river crossing over here? I, I, oh, oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. Not down right there, but yeah, okay. We're definitely going to continue up this trail. Like, I wonder how much we can get done. We'll see what happens when we hit 20 minute mark. I might want to keep going for an extra 10 minutes. Whether or not you want me to or not. So right now, actually, you know, I'm going to save it for the next water crossing. After that, then I'll rate. I'm just hoping to see a, a, a couple more, you know, rocky obstacles than just the, what was it, two that we come across. And then we got that little ditch. That was cool. And this trail I got right here is nice and uneven allows you to check out the flex of the vehicle which is actually pretty decent on this one now obviously it, you're not going to purely test it but I mean look at that oh, I love the movement down there in the undercarriage like this is oh, beautiful okay you know what I'm going to try driving in this oh man okay this vehicle you can drive it in this view. I don't recommend it because you will go off a cliff. Okay, nice little... Okay, this one might be a bit more difficult than the other ones. Let's see what happens here. Nice and easy yet. I think we had a little bit more difficulty. I mean, we took the right angle, like on the last or previous rock obstacle. We didn't take the right angle the first time. So, whoa. We just took a nose dive. Didn't see that coming. But it, yeah, so if you don't take the right angle, yeah, you always gotta be on the right angle, right? Otherwise, you gotta back it up and do it again. So. I do like this map quite a bit. Like, it's very easy going. It's a great little trail riding map. Uh, Castaway, this is probably your best map yet. Can't wait for what else is to come in the next one. But I want to see something a little bit different in the next one. You, so far, I think this is what? The third map Castaway's done. And it's also the third muddy one he's done. I want to see him go away from the mud for a map. Oh man, that's plenty deep. Good thing we have a submarine here. Um, maybe go into the desert for a map. That might be interesting. Or, oh, into like Rocky Mountain area. Yeah. But again, it's just going to take some time. It may not happen on his next map, but we'll see. Now, where the heck are we supposed to go here? I don't see a trail. Gotta keep. Oh, it's just around the bend. Okay. Just around the bend. We'll stay on the shore as best we can. And this is where we go up. Yes, it is. Ooh, a little sketchy there. I like that. Okay, that's cool. Coming out of the water and up into this. Where. You, it better be in a crawling gear. Now, I would actually do that in like low two. But because I want to see as much of this map as possible, I'm just going to go with a low three because it's a little bit faster and we're, we're, we're hitting everything without a hitch. But if this is a real vehicle, I would be taking it a lot slower, even though this is pretty slow because you don't want to wreck your vehicle. I mean, yeah, that's the nice thing about off road. And is, I mean, with a, a proper off road rig, is that you can just fix it when you get home. Uh, and the nice thing about Mudrunner is you don't have to pick the squad. 
Because parts cost money and mud runner, well, cost you one time like 30 bags. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting trail. It actually feels pretty realistic too. And that's why I said that this is Castaway's best map. Because it actually brings a, like a real feel to it. Like I could actually see myself driving here. Now his first map, no, not a chance. It did not feel real whatsoever at all. That was a real good first map. Not as good as, you know, Frog's first map. Like, he's a prodigy, that boy. And he's been spending a lot of time with uh, vehicles lately. I wonder when we're going to get another map out of Frog. In fact, I'd like to see him take, like, every one of his maps and then make one big one and combine them all together that would be pretty interesting i don't know if he could actually throw in clark's vegas because that's a pretty big map as it is but who knows who knows uh, now i'm gonna focus on the vehicle for a little bit here uh, especially with this rock coming up i like it Now, I'm going to do this in low one. I really want to see it climb up and over. Oh, yeah. Plenty of grip. Oh, you know what? Back it up. Back it up. There you go. There's a good screenshot moment right there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this vehicle. It's something that I would come back to. I can definitely run around with uh, on my own. I don't know if we'll see it again on the channel though, because you know, I got my favorites. Like it ain't no Suburban or Blazing or Chevy pickup truck. But I'm, I'm quite enthusiastic about this vehicle. Uh, you don't see a lot of Forerunners all jazzed up to be a, a serious off-road rig. Or maybe you do. I, I mean, where I where I live, or on this part, or in Western Canada anyway, you don't see a lot. I mean, you'll see more so Nissan X Terras, but even then, not so much of those either. I, like as far as this age group of the vehicle, now you get back to the '90s, and there's a lot of them, like the the uh, Forerunner, the Pathfinder, the CZ Rodeo. They're all on the same platform. I feel like I'm forgetting a couple of vehicles on that platform as well. Let me know if I am in the comments. Ah, uh, this is a pretty tasty map. Just the way there's a lot of bumps that you just have to work over. And like it's very easy going, very simple trail. If you are a beginner and you want to get into the game, this is a great map for you to drive on. And this vehicle is also a great vehicle for a beginner too. So, hell, great combination today, I would say. If you think otherwise, feel free. Put it in the comments below. You are entitled to your opinion, and I am entitled to bash your opinion. And now we get to cross the muddy river again. Now, one thing I'm curious on, is there two rivers, or is this just one big, long river? This is just one big, long river. Very interesting. If we continue up this trail, 
I mean, we're pretty much at 20 minute mark, 10 seconds away. Uh, that'll take us up to the garage. Nah, I had, okay. Oh, I get it. So, this is a weird map. Okay, so back there at that intersection, that takes you all the way back to the start point. Oh, that looks like an interesting water crossing right there. Same thing up here with this one. So what we'll do, we're going to get to the garage. We're going to cut through the bush if we can. Because I do want to see the end of this trail. But I want to see uh, these two water crossings here. One and two. Like this one will be like every other one we've been over already. But I don't know if that's like a real bridge or if it or what. And I want to see what that one is too. So, yeah. Moving on. Oh, wow. Another deep one, huh? Uh-oh. There you go. Well, it's not really that deep, but it's definitely dangerous. Do not bring a light little vehicle here. You will float away. I would bring a uh, frog's hammer, because at least you can carry a canoe on it. Okay, another rock section coming up. Okay, all right. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this map. I think right now, uh, like it's been very scenic. A lot of challenges. A lot more challenges than. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot more than his previous maps, but a lot more than what I was expecting based off of the uh, description of the map. Which, you know what, pretty even, I would say. And we got some more rocks coming up here. They got this water trench that we're going through. I, man, it gets a little bit tougher as you go, but it's still a very easy, easy going trail. You can just relax and enjoy the ride. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm definitely going to come back to this map. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.7 out of 5 on the rigs meter I'm very happy with it, and Castaway, great job. Can't wait to see what you come out with in the future, bro. Now, as for the vehicle, Spun. It ain't Spun's best vehicle, in my opinion. It's very well done. Very well done. It's definitely a vehicle I would drive again on my own time, maybe not on the channel, unless you all ask for it to be back. Which, hell, you guys ask for anything, put in the comments, ask away. Get enough people asking for the same thing, and I'll do it. Seriously. So, technically, only one person has to ask a question about what he wants, and uh, people just gotta like that comment. Now, uh, as for this vehicle, like, it's very well put together. The model is great, especially on the exterior. Could use a little bit more on the interior, in my opinion. But hell, who cares? You don't really, we don't really use it much anyway. And getting into the garage, wow. That's kind of interesting. I like how you use the house for both garages. It's like two neighbors going and visiting each other. And one guy's got all the good stuff. Oh, there's garage points on the Forerunner. So we'll uh, put the Forerunner kit back on there and the rear kit. There you go. Not that we use very much fuel, but okay. Oh. I didn't even fill up everything. Okay, now let's try and beat through the bush here. Um, and I'll give you the rating on the Forerunner as soon as we're on the other side because I want to see how maneuverable it is, it is through all these trees. Now I can definitely grip on the, on the steep hills, which is fantastic. But... Can it beat through the bush and create its own trail? I don't see any reason why I can't do that. Oh, we're back at the trail already. That was quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this vehicle a 4.4 out of 5 on the rigs meter. Very happy with it. And I hope you guys are too. If you think that, that, that I wasn't honest with that rating, well, let me know. But I, I think it's pretty good. 
It just said it ain't a Chevy. It's like it's mods or marks taken off right there. Oh, heck yeah. There you go. Now, that water crossing, probably my favorite water crossing that we've seen so far. All right, let's pick up the page just a little bit here. Send some mud flying. And here we have an actual bridge. All right, so um, yeah, don't forget that uh, in the description down below, there is a link for merchandise, 15% off or free shipping. Uh, free shipping only if you live in the United States of America. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I mean, I just did a Mafia 2 video yesterday. So again, just goes to show you, you don't know what to expect on this channel. And I welcome all brand new subscribers as they happen. I mean, I get notifications and I'm like, ah, oh, thank you. You know, I'm not talking to anybody. No, I'm kidding. I appreciate every subscribers and every once in a while I will do a subscriber shout out. So make sure you are subscribed in order to get that. If you do buy merch, you will get a shout out the very next episode after I get the notification that you bought and was delivered. I think you get uh, delivery notifications on uh, Teespring. So, yeah. If you want to see something on this channel, again, put it in the comments below. Uh, again, enough people put the same thing down. I'll listen and I'll do it. There will be a live stream uh, very soon. I was hoping to do it this weekend, but I actually have to go in to work. And because I'm not making any money here, the work comes first, y'all. So as much as I love y'all, that's what's going to have to uh, happen for now. Because, uh, well, guys got to eat. Guys got to put his uh, roof over his head. So, yeah. Uh, what else am I forgetting to talk about here? I don't know. So unless I drown in the next water crossing, which is only a corner or two away. Or roll down this hill, which isn't a big one. I'll see y'all next one.